dear bloopers, I'm Radhika and you're watching Divine Coding. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this beautiful bottom navigation bar with animation by using our bottom navy bar package. So let's start by moving to installing. So here we will go to installing. So now we will just copy the dependency and then paste it into our prospect.yml over here. So now you can see indentation is also perfect. So we will move for pub get. And now we will import it into our main.dart. So I will paste it over here. So now let's start by creating our stateless widget. And I will give it the name my app. And then I will return my material app. And then I will make my debug show check mode banner to false. And then in home we will call our stateful widget. So for that we will create our home. And here I will give it the name like my package. And now over here we will create our stateful widget. And we'll give it the same name. And here you can see our error is gone. And then instead of container, we will return our scaffold. So let's create our app bar widget. And then it's starting from capital letters. And then we will give the title for our app bar. And that's going to be our text widget. And now we will also change the text color. So for that, we will use our style and then text style property and colors.black and now we will run our app and here you can see we do have to change its background color too so for that we will use our background color property and then colors.white and here you can see so after app bar we will create our bottom navigation bar so here we are going to call our package that's bottom navy bar and here you can also see the required parameters that's our items and on item selected, so inside bottom navy bar, we will first create our selected index parameter. So for now, we will give it the variable current index. So for that, inside our curly braces, over our override, we will create our integer, that's int. And then we will give it the name current index. And current index is equal to zero. And then we will provide it semicolon. And now let's move for the on item selected and then inside parenthesis we will call our index and then we will provide it curly braces and inside them we will create our set state and inside set state we will create our current index equals to index and here you can see our error is gone so we created two parameters and now it's time for the items and our items are going to be a list of items So here we will call our bottom navy bar items and inside it again we will call our bottom navy bar item. So items are the crucial part because here we have to show the icons and the titles and their active color. So for that we will create our icon and then we will create our icon widget like icons.home and now I will create my title and this time too my title is going to be the text widget only. And we'll give it the same name home and now we will also specify the active color so i will give it the colors dot blue accent and to show our buttons inactive we will give it the color of black so if you will run it now then you can come across an error because there should be at least two buttons to navigate between and in our case it's just one so we will just copy and paste it and now we will create around four icons. So I will paste it two times more. And now let me quickly change its title and icon. So here we did create our app bar and bottom navigation bar, but we haven't created our body to see some changes between navigation. So here I will create the body. And now we are going to create a list of containers with different color to be displayed in our body. So after current index, we will create our list. And now we will also provide one name to our list. Let's say list of colors. So I'm going to keep it very simple. So I will just create my container and we'll just provide it the color. Like colors.blue essent. And then I will also paste it three more times. And I'm also going to change their color to orange accent. And this one we are going to give the red accent. And this one green color. And in body we will call a list of colors. And then current index. 
3 so here you can see our navigation is looking so smooth so now as we have changed their body color so we will also change their active color and now it's looking like a perfect match so now it's time for some customization into our bottom navy bar like we can set their animation duration so by default its background color is white we can change it to by using background color property but as this is looking so terrible we will comment it down and it's still thinking what else then you can also set the curve like curves dot elastic in out and in the same way you can use a huge number of curves so congratulations you created this beautiful bottom navy bar with animation so easily and so quickly and if you want to dive more deeper then you can also visit to their github page and for your ease i have also linked the source code in description so you can check it out too and if you learn anything from this video hit the like button and do subscribe the channel to not miss out any package that can help you in your flutter development journey and do share your favorite package into the comment section and i will see you in the next video